So are there any decisions that you're really glad you made a year ago, two years ago, um, regarding any parts of the strategy that you had pushed, that you've been deploying, either cloud or anything like that, that you think has been a, a benefit during this time frame um, from giving you some of the flexibility you needed or anything of the sort? Sure. Yeah, I think, you know, as anyone in the technology space knows, there's there's not usually a quick fix for things. You know, you have to be kind of planned out and and, and have some strategy behind what you're doing. And we, we really did start thinking about uh, cloud being number one in our um, in how we were going to approach things uh, a couple years ago. So that really helped us in this. And we kind of went all in on the Microsoft 365 products. So that made it easy. And just some of the basics of making sure everyone had a laptop um, and having that as their, their permanent workstation. Uh, so it really, it made the transition, um, that, that transition, I should say, to moving everyone remote wasn't the roadblock, right? So we had the infrastructure in place that people could really focus on what the members needed to hear, the information they needed, and, and staff wasn't um, worried about, okay, how am I gonna sign on? How am I gonna get my email? How am I gonna get to all these documents that I have? So I think that really helped in our transition and uh, that, that really kind of set people up to be successful and really hit the ground running as soon as all this information started flooding in. We could immediately launch the webinars and you know, launch these different go-to meeting things for our, for our members to get them the information that they need. You know, it's really, I, I, you wouldn't necessarily know this because you're sort of like knee deep in it, but I, from an outside perspective um, and having worked with you for a while, your, your decision-making on Azure, I think was about two years in front of most people. And, and, and not, just the, not just being in Azure, but being significantly there with major systems and then not just there with your major systems in your app dev, in your, in your strategy, but also there with security. I, because those are two different things. That, those are things that really trip people up as they, they'll app dev their way into, into it, but then they don't layer the security on top. So they end up, it really gets kind of messy. And it's, you had a really, um, you were in front of the curve on both. And, and uh, you're not trying to re-engineer that right now, which I think puts you in a huge, a huge positive um, position. Well, uh, I appreciate that. It, it, you know, we have a great team and, and we're seeing it now with all of these pressures applied, um, but that, that infrastructure um, and, and what, we, you know, what we've done with Azure, like you said, has really helped us be agile and nimble. And then having good partners like you um, who help us with the security, you know, it, takes that, it takes that stressor off of our minds and lets us really focus on how do we deliver the best product to the member. Um, and we're in this, we're seeing that we need to shift and really reprioritize some of our product work. And so we're able to do that pretty, um, pr pretty flexibly with, um, you know, shifting things around, but we have the infrastructure there that can support that. Um, and it was, you know, it was a big leap for us to go to Azure. It was not something that, you know, we kind of had ever dealt with, had ever, um, uh, moved forward with so it was it was a leap for the organization um, We're you know in hindsight is 2020. So we're really happy with where we're at right now uh, But I think it really did set us up to be more successful in a situation like this and, and deliver better products and services to our members